Um, we're thinking about having a kid together. And we want to know what you think. What a great idea. Grandkids. Oh, I can't wait to see little toddlers strolling all over the place. What do you think, Thad? Well, if they're sure, really, really sure, then they ought to. And we were. But there's been a lot of stress, and we don't know. Stress? What stress? Stress doesn't come until after the kid arrives. Well, we want me to carry the kid. And we think Gavin would be the best donor. But we don't think he'll do it. And it's all kind of messing us up. According to Natasha, she's having nightmares about me attacking her. And according to Nicola, I'm humping a cannibal bike. Oh, what's that like? When I find out, I'll let you know. Why does it have to be your brother? Why couldn't your father do it? Yes, yeah. My daughter would be my sister. <laughs> hey, I'm ready for a shower. I mean, oh, no, you smell great, <laughs> but I need a shower. As opposed to your daughter being your niece. Honey, once you go hillbilly, you might as well go all the way. I don't want to mean to pressure you, but I'm free right now. Two minutes to shower, one to dry off, and I'm go. I, I don't know if you're in the mood. Are you in the mood? I'm pretty sure, but, you know, I'm up. I'm ready. We have a nice glass turkey baster. Oh, and then we can have a celebratory dinner afterwards. I don't know if I'm comfortable with this. Gavin might still say yes. <laughs> The bastard gets sloppy seconds. Dad! Well... Wouldn't it double your chances if both your brother and your father helped out? Yeah. Sounds like a very good idea. At least Gavin can be more receptive if he knows that his old man is doing it. This is so trailer park. Yeah. Oh, I don't know if my brother or my father is my baby's daddy. Yeah, so? It's outside my comfort zone. If it's inside mine, would you make an effort? I guess inside hers. Look, we don't have to decide this now. We can always argue about it later. I thought we came here to stop arguing about it. Oh, nobody likes a quitter, Natasha. Oh, yeah. Well, bless you. So, you carried the kid. What is it like? I carried two of them. Nicola popped right out, but they had to go in and get Gavin. I still have the scar, but I think it makes a little smiley face. Nicola said that you adopted one of them. Why would you say that? Mom. Last Christmas, you and Dad told us. I know, that's right. Remember, we did say that. <laughs> oh, honey, we were just fucking with you. What? I spent the last six months trying to figure you out what... You spent the last six months daydreaming about what it would be like not to have Gavin as a blood relative. It's like buying a lottery ticket and then fantasizing about what you would do with all that money. Now, wasn't it? For the most part, yeah. You're welcome. So we're going to leave here even less sure about what we're going to do than when we got here. And honey, we've told you what we think. It's, it's up to the two of you to make this decision. Mm. I don't want Natasha to come to you one day and say, Damn it, your parents talked us into this. I wouldn't do that. Oh, you say that now, but wait until you have a toddler nib nibbling on your kneecap and peeing on your best pair of shoes. So, anyone up for a drink? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'll be right back. 